welcome back to the second video on Cribble. And this one is just basically going to talk about the basic functionality of Cribble. We know that Cribble is meant to take data in and send data out and do some manipulation to it. I'm going to break down all three stages, which is basically data coming in and out. That's your sources and your destination sources being for the data coming in. Destinations is for data going out. Routes are just a quick way of saying where the data is going to go. So a data that comes in will follow a route and at the end of the route it will go to a destination. Processing are the different pipelines and packs. We're just going to call them pipelines. The different pipelines, that's the way the data is changed. So data will come in, it'll get assigned to a route. In that route there will be pipelines and pipelines will modify, manipulate, throw out, enhance, enrich whatever data, however you set up your rules to be. And the real magic is pipelines, but what's really cool is how easy data sources and destinations works along with the routing. And so for this video, we're going to find primarily focus on the options available to us in sources and destinations. Next video, I'll use an example of a syslog server, but for here, we'll just show all the options. So I'm going to have data. I'm going to come to sources and we can see that we have collectors. So we can actually use uh, Splunk's collector, a database collectors, uh, REST collectors, S3 collectors, scripts. We, and so we can use collectors there. We can use push, such as Splunk pushing things out, TCP JSON, syslog. So if you set your syslog server up, you can point in its address and its config file to point to Cribble, and it can then receive syslog, TCP JSON, can receive Splunk, heck, Fire, Amazon, Prometheus, Loki, Open Telemetry, TCP, uh, Last to Search, just write HTTP, Windows Event uh, forwarding. And so, if you've ever used like Snare or anything in Windows Events that you can that forward logs on, uh, Cribble can just become one of those and just can listen on that. You'll need to make sure you open the proper port, but other than that, you just turn on the. The, the each one of these. I'm not going to go through every one of these, but they're really quite simple. We'll give a few examples and then we'll move on. You can also poll. So for example, you can actually make a Splunk search. I can actually query my Splunk server and pull data out. I can hit Office 365, Amazon, S3 buckets, Event Hubs, Blob Storage, uh, Confluent, Kafka. You have lots of different places where you can get data. Or you can also go to system internals. And so I can monitor files, I can monitor journals. So, for example, I could have a bunch of files sent to my Cribble stream. Um, and that's what I'm going to do in my next video is I'm going to replace a syslog server and make my Cribble stream actually be my syslog server. And there's a lot of benefits to doing that. And so I'm going to actually, I could just set it to monitor the files or etc. That would be the migration path. Um, Anyway, so I can monitor files that are being written to Cribble. This would be locally. I can pull data from different systems. I can have data pushed to it. Uh, and then when you go for destinations, you can router, which means I can send to multiple locations. So I could send to a, a Lassa search. I could send to an S3 bucket. I could send to Cribble. I mean, sorry, to a Splunk. I could send to Splunk just straight out. A load balancer. Heck, S3. Uh, just lots and lots of tools here. Google Cloud Logging. You can see there are just many different places. DevNull, that's also a good place. Not everything needs to be uh, go anywhere. And so maybe you just want the, the logs thrown away. That's one of the destinations that you have available to you. Um, there's reasons why you want to do that. But you can send to Elasticsearch, Kafka. You can send to a file system if you want. Anyway, so I hope this helps. Um, we're going to, I'm going to do a sys, I'm going to do a file system right now. That'll be my ultimate, my, my next mission thing. We'll receive syslog. We'll write it to a file system. Then we'll do another video where we've now got a file system. We'll let, we'll let Cribble read it out of there and send it off to another location. We're just going to give lots of examples. None of these are, are meant to be, this is what you will absolutely use in your environment. It's to hopefully get you seeing some ways that you can change the way your data comes in to improve it and enhance it. Anyway, I hope this is helpful. Uh, that's Cribble overview as far as data sources and destinations. Next video in this, uh, in this collection of videos will be on actually bringing data in from a syslog server. 
Anyway, I hope this is helpful. Hope this mo helps you move from being a uh, lame analyst to a uh, a, uh, a ninja of any sort. I don't care. Usually I say Splunk Ninja, but this isn't for Splunk. Anyway, hope you'll keep coming back and watching my videos, and hope you and hope to see you around.